Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to install WX Python uh, for your system. And after that, I'll go briefly over what WX Python is and what you are able to do. All right. So first off, just go to your browser and type in wxpython.org. Uh, you should land in this page, and then just go over here and just click on the download image. And then right here, you get the Windows binaries and then also the Mac OS binaries. So one quick note is that uh, WX Python only runs, well, right now it runs on 2.7 and 2.6, but there's another uh, branch that people are working on that will run on Python 3, but I haven't been uh, keeping up to date on that, so I'm not too sure. But anyways, I'm using Python 2.7 and I'm using WX Python 3. So there's for Mac and, uh, and uh, Windows. Now for uh, for Linux, you can just go to the terminal and then just do search for, um, I think it's WXGTK, it's uh, some of that. So yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. So yeah, here you see, so it's uh, WXGTK. So yeah, you see right here, uh, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04, and I get this uh, WX Python. This is a 2.8 version, but uh, on my system, I made it so that it can get uh, the WX Python 3. I'll put a link down below and to show you guys how to do it, but uh, 2.8 should work just fine for the stuff that we're doing. So yeah, just go ahead and install the package, and you should be good. And um, to check that you guys actually have it installed, just run, uh, just run Python. For example, just do Python and then just import WX. And if you don't get any errors, that means it's perfect, ready to go. And if you do, well then uh, post a comment and I'll see if I'm able to help. All right, so first off, um, since you guys uh, are looking at this video, you guys vaguely have an idea what WX Python is. What it is, is basically a GUI toolkit and it helps you um, create GUIs for uh, Mac, Linux, and Windows basically desktop OS's. Now what you're able to do with it is I'm going to just show you a quick example of what, I, uh, what I've been able to do. Oops. Python main. So this is something that I made. You know. So a little uh, application, math tutor application. So I hit start. You know, um, pick whichever one you want and it'll ask you math questions of those types. So divide, subtraction, division, all that good stuff. Mix is everything. I'm going to go with custom and show you guys. So there you go. It look even uh, shows me, gives me a little dialogue. So for now, I just want to do multiplication and addition. I'll go for that. Bam. So what's 8 times 0? Zero? 0. Amazing. As you guys can see, look at that. It right here it records the custom operation, multiplication, addition, percentage, and how many questions I've answered. So everything right here is customizable. This is what I did. So yeah, so yeah, um, this is what you're able to do, you know, create dialog boxes, you know, custom number range, let's say I wanted to go from uh, 10 to uh, 100, you know, so the next one will should be from 10 to 100, yep, there you go, you see, and I'm going to go with uh, this one, oh, look at that, I'm freaking smart, um, let's see, um, yeah, See, change operations again, whatever I want. Um, yeah, that's something that you're able to do. Uh, I especially like the about dialogues, they're pretty freaking awesome. Look at that, looks freaking beautiful and easy to do as well. Oh, yeah, and there's my website. Um, but yeah, this is just a you know, a simple uh, example of what you're able to do. So, yeah. Uh, keep on watching and I'll have and I'll have uh, videos on how to do stuff.